Hi there. As promised, we are looking at arithmetic sequence now. Uh, I hope we will find it informative. Now, here's an example. Find the twelfth term of the sequence, and there they give us a sequence. And it's in this sequence that we need to recognize which of the three is it. As I said, we get three types of sequences uh, that we work with in school. Arithmetic, geometric, and quadratic. Let's see, what is the identifier for the arithmetic sequence? Okay. How are we going to identify it? Well, it's got a constant difference. And we're going to call that constant difference D. How do we get the constant difference? Well, we're going to test it by seeing if the second term, T2, minus the first term, T1, is equal to the third term, T3, minus the second term. And oh, maybe that's confused you just now, but let me just write it here. So we've got the second term is there, the first term, and the third term, and the fourth term. So we're merely just going to see what's the difference between those two, those two, and if we wanted to, we can test it a third time. Okay. So if I take the difference between 7 and 4, I see that 7 minus, so that's what I'm saying here, t2 minus t1. 7 minus 4 gives me 3, which is also the answer I get when I take 10 minus 7. In other words, the third term minus the second term. And that's my constant difference. Sorry, I'm not 10. 3. There we go. So my constant difference is equal to 3. In this case. Not always, but in this case. Now, the other element is called the general term. The general term. Now, this is what we're going to discuss in class. Where does this formula come from? Uh, but for now, I'm just going to give you the general term. The general term for this one is a linear function that looks like this. Okay. So it's a plus and in brackets a minus 1 times d. Now a represents the first term of this uh, equation. So a or alpha, first term. N, you should remember, I hope you do, represents the position number. And because we're using getting the general term for now, a, uh, sorry, N is going to remain N so that it stays general. And D is obviously the constant difference that we just cal calculated. So in our example, our first term, A, is equal to the 4. So our formula would be that Tn is equal to 4 plus, and we're going to keep that a minus 1, a minus 1 times d is equal to 3. Okay, if you want to, you can simplify, it's not necessary, unless they ask, leave it in a simplified form, and then we'll just always distribute this 3. So we really get 4 plus 3n minus 3 or 4 minus 3 is 1 plus 3 n. There we go. That is the general term for this question. Why did I need the general term? Well, you could have, if you wanted to, add 3 every time until you get to the 12th term. And 12th term isn't that far along, so you might have been able to, done, uh, to do that without difficulty. But um, if it was the 120th term, it would have taken you a while. But now instead, what we can do is uh, we can add 3 a number of times. Okay? So to get the second term, I added once. To get the third term, I've added 3 twice. So that's what this part of the equation tells me. How many times I'm adding the constant difference, the 3. And this is just what I started with. So I start that and I add the constant difference n minus 1 times. In our case, we want therefore t 
12. Which means I started with 4 and I added the constant difference 11 times. Okay, which is just 4 plus 33, which is 7, 37. Okay, you can see it's exactly what I would have gotten here if I substituted the 3 with 12, because n is 12. Sorry, not the 3, the n. Okay, so 3 times 12 is 36 plus 1 is 37. And that is how I would calculate the, well, how I would identify uh, the arithmetic sequence and how I would find its general term. We do, however, have, have more challenging questions. Here's one. Okay. Which term in this sequence is equal to, and there they give us the value that they want us to find. Okay, so let's just start again and identify. And let's just do this to identify. Identify 30 minus 6 is 7. 20 minus 13 is 7 again. So we have identified that we have a constant difference, which means we have the arithmetic sequence. And as soon as you know it's the arithmetic sequence, immediately start by writing your general term. General term is equal to alpha, the first term, n minus 1 delta or d for constant difference. Okay, alpha being my first term, in this case is 6, and n minus 1. Remember, we are trying to find the general term. We don't want the value for n as of yet. Okay, and my constant difference is 7. So for this uh, problem, I suppose it's probably easier to just simplify. Okay, so we're going to have 6 plus 7, since I'm distributing the 7, 7n minus 7, and I get my general term to be 6 minus 7 is negative 1, so 7n minus 1. Okay, now that helps us to now determine how to answer this. Which term in the sequence is equal to 76? It does not ask which is the 76th term. It asks which term is equal to 76. So we've got term value and term position. So with the question which term is equal to 76, that means that we are given the 76, the term value, and we are asked to find the term's position, which term it is. Now that means Tn is 76. So it's simply the solution of this equation. Okay, to solve it, let's just get n on its own. So we add an n on both sides. And by doing so, we get 77 is equal to 7n as this is 0. Divide by 7 on both sides, and I get 11 is equal to n. That means that the 11th term will be equal to 76. If you want, you can quickly test that. Let's just put it in our equation. So again, if I started with 6 and I added 7 for a number of times, according to this, I added, I'm at the 11th term. To get to the second term, I added it once. The third term, I added it twice. So, the so, so one less every time. So the eleventh term I've added it ten times. Okay. So I add seven ten times, which says that it's six times plus seventy, and therefore I have what sixty-seven seventy-six.